everybody, welcome back to the brand new release preview video. Today we have the always highly anticipated 2021 Topps Chrome Sapphire. And it just came out today. We're going to open up six of these boxes. We'll tell you a little bit about this product. Also, I got to let you know that my other planned videos for today, which was a preview video of series, uh, the update series, of hobby boxes along with the case break has been delayed. For whatever reason, UPS just can't seem to get their stuff together the past month or two, at least for me, and uh, my cases are delayed. So the preview video will be coming tomorrow or Friday, and the case break that we're gonna do is canceled, and I will be sending all those boxes to you sealed. Uh, for those of you that were in that break, those will go out as soon as I get those cases, we'll just send them sealed. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this. There are, Six boxes to do. There is one rookie autograph card per box as well. And there's 32 cards per box. Now, one of the good things about this, this year, is that the price has been reduced. Last year, a box of Chrome Sapphire would have cost you $300 to buy from Topps. This year, they reduced it to $250. Now, if you missed the boat uh, for the 582 Montgomery Club presale, and I guess uh, they also did a public sale of this also, but if you missed the boat and you wanted to buy one of these, you can still buy them for actually pretty much at cost on the secondary market on eBay. There's some there for like 275 to 285 or so, which is not a big markup at all once you factor in how much these costs. It cost me 250 a box, plus I had to pay tax, plus I had to pay shipping. Um, so my price is probably right around there in the 280s per box. But anyway, let's go ahead and open this up. These boxes are for our Patreon members. If you'd like to check us out on Patreon, it is $4.99 per month to have access to all of our breaks, including preview videos like this one. There's a link down in the description for it. Joseph, this is your box. Let's go ahead and see what we can find for you. 660 total cards are in the set. Every base card from Series 1 and Series 2 has been sapphired up, if that's the appropriate term for it and um one autograph also inserted so here's our pack you can see that alec bohm was chosen by tops among all the rookies that they could have chosen this year they chose alec bohm also see aaron judge gets the call randy rose arena mookie betts there's tatis and vlad jr and interestingly enough no shohei otani on the front of any of these so hmm, it's interesting maybe otani might make a return to the front of the box maybe in series one for 2022 we'll see anyway we got Luis diaz leading things off you can see the nice blue sapphire and then we have a jake woodford rookie card that's an orange which will be out of 25 11 out of 25 right there and only paredes and the last one is billy hamilton with the cubbies there for you joseph next pack probably i don't know i was thinking about doing these in a super rip version but that is a nice one ronald acuna jr always like this card, Acuna's going to get a World Series ring, that's for sure. With the Braves winning the World Series yesterday, congratulations to all you Braves fans out there. There's Shohei Otani with Mike Trout. That's a great-looking card right there. But the Braves got it done. Their first World Series win in 26 years. 1995, the last time they won the World Series. And the most valuable player, not going to Austin Riley, although he played so good in the playoffs. It goes to Jorge Soler. So we'll be seeing if we can find any of his cards. Nice in-season trade jorge soler going over to the braves we've got braylon marquez still looking for that rookie auto there's going to be six total sapphire autos in this video hopefully that they are some nice names now, all the big rookie names are in that checklist we'll see what we get there's our first auto speak of the devil it is larry Tavares. nice on card auto so that'll be your autograph I don't think you're going to have another auto in here, but we'll see. It looks like Lady was in a rush to sign because there's some ink on the back of that card. That happens sometimes when players are in a little bit of a hurry. Always definitely stinks, but uh, got to gotta deal with it sometimes. There's Bobby Dalbeck, rookie card, Sapphire. It's a nice one. Hunter Renfro and Mark Mathias is the last one. Two more packs for you, Joseph. In this Sapphire release of six total boxes, there's Max Scherzer. You'll likely see him, see him in his Dodgers uniform come um, most likely Series 1 of 2022. I don't think he's gotten his Dodgers uniform for update. Salvador Perez is going to get some MVP votes with all those home runs he hit this year. Bo Burrows, 
Max Stassi, and Jorge Polanco is the last one. So, Lady Tavares is our first autograph, but we're not done. We have five more boxes to do. Our next contestant is going to be Steven. Steven, best of luck to you. Let's see what we can find for you in box number two. Coming up tomorrow, I've got the Elite Boom Box. I already opened them up. I couldn't wait for the, uh, I couldn't just sit there and look at this $260 Elite Boom Box. So I opened that yesterday. And uh, let me tell you, we had much, much better luck than the uh, Boombox video that we opened and showed you yesterday. Much, much better luck. So that'll be coming tomorrow. Also, I have a Toys R Us blister pack video for you tomorrow as well. And uh, likely an auction. And who knows, maybe I'll even get my cases in tomorrow and do a new release preview video of 2021 update hobby boxes. So that could be four videos tomorrow. Very busy day. This is the only video today, though. So, Steve, let's see what we can find for you. We'll just kind of try to make it go a little more smoothly with the pack openings by doing a super rip. I mean, they could have, if they wanted to, put these all in one pack. Just put a nice big fat pack of sapphire in here. But I guess it makes it easier for folks that might want to do subscription boxes. And those that just like ripping, you know, a bunch of packs... Me, personally, I'd rather have one big pack just because it's a little easier for me. There's Daniel Norris. That is going to be an orange out of 25. So you get one parallel per box. There's the number. One out of 25. If it was the Saturday showdown, you'd be looking pretty good. Tucker Davidson, rookie card. One of the better rookies from Series 2. Tucker Davidson, his stock will be going up. Now he's on people's radar with the Braves winning the World Series. There's Ian Happ. Trevor Rosenthal. Isan Diaz. Miggy Cabrera. Surefire future Hall of Famer. There's Daz Cameron, rookie card, son of Mike Cameron. And look at this. We get a Ryan Mountcastle. Very nice, Stephen. Congratulations. So I told you that the good rookies were in this, and there's one of the top ones. Some of you guys might put him at number one. Here's the back of the card, Ryan Mountcastle. Uh, talking about how he became the fourth player in Orioles history since Machado to have a multi-home run performance. I can't wait till we get the new updated backs with all the new stats Mount Cass with over 30 home runs this year may end up being the rookie of the year. We shall see. But a very good hit right there. Check out the rest of your box. Maybe we can hit a couple of the top rookies. Christian Javier. Poor Astros. They uh, they fought pretty good. Made it the whole way to the World Series. I know a lot of you hate the Astros. I, um, I don't feel too bad that they lost. Sorry, Astros fans. I'm pretty pleased that the Braves won. I did, however, uh, want to see Yordi do a little bit better. Jordan Alvarez just had a great ALCS. Kind of struggled a little bit in the World Series there. Last time I checked, I think it was after Game 4. He was at like 092 or something like that. But Jordan Alvarez is going to be a major star. I feel like he's under the radar right now. And I was kind of hoping he was really going to break out in the World Series and just hit three, four home runs or something like that. Next up is Jeremy Taylor. Let's see if we can find for you in spot number three. Good luck, man. Let's see if we can find you something in the same realm as the Ryan Mountcastle rookie auto, which is a pretty nice one. Maybe we'll find a Dylan Carlson or Key Brian Hayes or even Alec Bohm, which kind of surprised me that he's on the front of the box. Alec Bohm had a terrible rookie season, but top since they're based in eastern Pennsylvania, maybe they are just Phillies fans out there and wanted to get Bohm on the front of the card. Let's see what we got for you. There'll be a parallel card in here as well. And there it is. It's another orange. Let's see what we can find. There's Jemai Jones. Now, the maximum that you could order on this was three boxes, but I have two accounts for the 582 Montgomery Club. There's Matt Carpenter out of 25. So I was able to get two, one in my account and one in another person's name account. There's Clark Schmidt. Clark Schmidt is the next one. Not the biggest name, unfortunately. You might consider that to be one of the more common autos, but still a nice one. You never know if he's going to take off. Bobby Dalbeck, once again, is a good card. Lots of 2021 rookies. Here comes another orange coming up. No one really standing out right now, but reading through the comments, some, some people have said, I wonder if, looking back, we're going to be kicking ourselves for not putting aside a bunch of 2021 uh, product. There's Robbie Grossman. It is numbered 24 out of 25 in Brad Hand. The ton of rookies, you never know who's going to be the next one that takes off. Could be any of these guys. All right, our next contestant, spot number four. This one's going to go to Travis. Good luck to you, Travis. I wish you the best. Let's see what we find. 
Randy Rose Rain on the front of the box. Technically still considered a rookie because he didn't have enough plate appearances last year. We'll see if uh, he gets the rookie of the year. He had a very good season. Kind of went a little bit under the radar because, of course, he's playing in Tampa Bay and is not on, you know, wasn't really on the, the big stage like he was last October when Tampa Bay was cruising through the playoffs. But, Travis, here we go, spot number four. Hope everybody's having a very, very pleasant Wednesday. I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button if you're new here and also the thumbs up button. And don't forget to tap that bell, that notification bell, and turn all post notifications on. So that whenever I post a new video or go live, you get notified and don't miss anything. Here we go, Travis. Let's see what we can find for you. There's Joey Votto leading things off. We have a different color parallel. That's exciting. It's a purple. Yasmani Grandal. It's out of 10. So our first time seeing anything numbered less than 25. We had orange coming out of the first three. There's Key Brian Hayes rookie card. We'll be looking for him to do good things here in Pittsburgh. Kind of had a bit of a rough season, uh, but he did miss half the year with that busted up wrist and that sapped his power and still could field really well, but we'll see next year. Hoping for big things, just as Diamondbacks fans are hoping for big things from this guy right here. Dalton Varsho is our next autograph. Nice picture on that one. I think that might be an alternate image just like the Mount Castle was. Pretty cool card. At least Campusano, Mitch Haniger. There's Roman Quinn. Nelly Cruz. There's Clanny, Shammy Clanahan. That's another guy in Series 2. Keep in mind. Uh, so there's some nice Series 2, a little bit underrated. You got Shammy Clanahan in there, Tucker Davidson. Everyone kind of points to Key Brian Hayes. Don't forget about Jake Cronenworth, along with um, Alex Kirloff as well in that. I am a pretty big fan of Series 2 for sure. Next up is spot number 5. This is for Matt Rosendale. Good luck to you, Matt. Let's see what we can find. In spot number five. Sorry if I'm moving a little more gingerly today. I seriously injured my back yet again because I just can't get a break. It's gonna be one of those one of those months. Last time I did this, I had a herniated disc for like two months and was in terrible pain, and now here we are again. And it feels the exact same way as it did way back in the summer. So this time I'll just try to, I don't know take care of myself and hopefully it heals in less than two months but i'm leaning heavily on the counter right now and not very mobile but anyway matt enough about me let's get to you here at spot number five hopefully i can find you something good in your stack of cards here's your last one then we got one more box after this before we say goodbye for the day what is that Matt I think I found you a gold vinyl vinyl super fractor here look at this look at this it is a Dean Kramer one of one how about that one Matt there's the hit Dean Kramer rookie as well rookie super fractor and luckily for you Matt we have courtesy of the boom box we've got some one touches nearby that we can put to good use here. It's not every day you pull a one of one. As uh, it's been a while since we've even pulled a one of one. I can't remember the last time we did. So it may have been in a Saturday showdown, maybe weeks and weeks ago. Very nice stuff right there. We'll get that put to good use here. Let me see if I can find some penny sleeves. Of course, I took all my penny sleeves up. Anything, anything crumbed up like that, I like to take and put a nice penny sleeve over top of it, just to make sure that it's kept extra safe. I guess I can always take a card out of a penny sleeve I have already in and reuse it. So let's get this one taken care of. Very nice, a big hit right there. Dean Kramer for a minute there. I was hoping it was, I don't know, I thought it was a Key Brian Hayes for a second. And then I saw the Orioles logo and I was hoping that it was gonna be Mount Castle for you. Still pretty nice that you have a rookie. Let's go ahead and see if I can get this Taking care of with my bad back. There's that in there. We'll place the penny sleeve over top. Now that's just to keep the surface from having any kind of little scuffs or smudges or anything like that. Because as you know, if you want to get this graded, uh, Beckett will take a close look at that surface. Can I do this while reaching around the camera? It looks like I can. There it is. 
Dean Kramer, one of one. Matt, and we're not done. Very nice stuff right there. I think that's the first one of one I've ever hit in a Sapphire box. It's not like I open these every day. Usually it's maybe a, a couple boxes a year of this. Bowman Sapphire. And, and look at this, a Dylan Carlson autograph. Very nice. How about that for a box, Matt? You win. You had the best box of the day by far. And uh apologizes to everybody else, but this is going to be a tough one to beat. A Dylan Carlson on-card auto. You see the different photo that they use for these rookie autos. Very, very nice. Congrats, man. Matt with the big W. Wonder how much that card goes for. These just came out, so it's kind of tough to pin down values on these on eBay yet with the, not a whole lot of data out there for sales or sold listings. But Matt, pretty much with one of ones, you can do whatever you want in terms of selling it. You can put it on eBay for an auction and see what comes. You could do best... Uh, best offer. I usually recommend, by the way, we've got one box left. I usually recommend that you put it on there for best offer. I, Dean Kramer, now, if you have like something that you think there's going to be a huge bidding war over, like if you have like, say, a Key Brian Hayes or Dylan Carlson or one of the top rookies, one of one, I think you could get in a nice little bidding war for that. But with a card like Dean Kramer, not a whole ton of probably um, interest in that. I mean, people will be interested in one of one for sure, but um, I would say put it on there. Think what you want to get for it. And then double that and then take offers on it. And then if you get anywhere close to that, say you want, uh, I don't know, say you'd be having 200 bucks for that card. Put it on there for 399 best offer. Maybe someone shoots you an offer for 250 300 then you take it. That's what I would personally do. And I think that's what a lot of one of one folks do do. And uh, if they end up selling the card eventually, then they get what they want. And if not, they can just hold on to it because they've got the only one in the world. And um, there's not going to be any more competition. They could keep it for years if they wanted to and just hope the player does well, of course. Anyway, here's our last box. It's from Michael Hafey. Very nice one of one. Definitely needed that today. Michael, let's see if we can find something great for you as we close this video out. And then, uh, like I said, tomorrow, look for the Toys R Us. It's 2017 Tops Blister Pack opening, so that'll be fun. Something different. It's not really that old, but still it's old enough that we can kind of fit it in the Throwback Thursday. All right, Michael, we'll also have that auction, like I said. And look at this. We have a red, which I think is out of five. It's the Royals Team Sapphire card out of five. Again, some low-numbered parallels, which is very good. Let's see what our final autograph is going to be. Should be coming up any time now. Usually they're right around the middle of the stack. And there it is. It's Davey Garcia is our final autograph. Yankees fireball right there. We'll put that on top. Get that all top loaded up for you. Get all your cards all team bagged up, ready to go, and put in the mail soon. So what is this? What? You have a redemption card as well, Michael. How about this? This was not expected. We have a second hit. Michael has two autographs. So we do got here with a little last pack magic. And it is going to be a redemption card for... It says you are due to receive a rookie autograph. Base blue sapphire of... So you're getting a bonus auto. And it's going to be... Jazz Chisholm. How about that? Very nice stuff right there. So Michael, the bonus hit... Davey Garcia, if that, if that wasn't enough for you, you have Jazz Chisholm, which honestly, the Jazz Chisholm will be worth a bit more. And that will do it. So what a nice ending to this Sapphire video. Thank you, everybody, very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please hit that thumbs up button. And that's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow for multiple videos. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Wednesday. And uh, see you probably sometime around, I get the first video, maybe uploaded around lunchtime tomorrow. Good night, everybody.